5.30 is when my first alarm goes off, followed by one at 5.45 and 6 o'clock. And I seem to prime myself out of bed these days around 6.15, which makes my mornings a little rough. The children come at 7.30, and so I like to be in program, ready to go at, by 7.25. I'm doing a lot of rushing around in the morning before then. And so first things first, we start the coffee out because I cannot make it through the day without my coffee. And I also choose to prep lunch in the mornings or the, even the night before, which is what I did in this case today. Um, that way I can spend as much time as possible outside with the children before lunch. And I don't have to stress about um, trying to make lunch while I'm also caring for children, especially as they're really hungry. So this is just what works best for my routine. As much as I hate getting up early to cook food and I'd rather just sleep into the very last minute, I have to be disciplined and do this because it just makes the day go so much smoother. And as much as I don't love crawling out of my nice warm cozy bed early in the morning it's always worth it to get a head start on the day and feel like I'm nice and prepared so today we have a chicken rice vegetable stew going in the crock pot that I started the day before so that will be nice and hot and ready for them whenever we are hungry which these days is usually around 11 if I'm kind enough to myself the night before, I will make sure I do all the childcare dishes. There are the blue bowls that you can see in this shot here. But often I will leave them to the morning time and every morning I say, why did I do this to myself? Just one more thing to do in the morning. But here I am, I'm just cleaning out the bin that I use to carry the dishes from downstairs, which is my main program space. At the end of the day, it's filled with dirty dishes. I bring it up. We, we wash out the bin, we wash the dishes, and then bring them back downstairs with the bin. I do not have a dishwasher. I don't love doing dishes. So I wish I had a dishwasher, but unfortunately we have no room and we are renters. So this is what we have to do. So I try to keep the dishes to a minimum when I'm serving the children. If possible, I just serve the food on a placemat like if it's a sandwich or something and then I can just sanitize that with my sanitizer solution in my spray bottle. On a typical day I would be making the food in the morning, cooking it on the stove or in the oven and kind of rushing around getting dressed piece by piece doing my hair then doing my makeup all in the midst of running to stir this or that or um, cut up this or that in the midst of doing the dishes and cooking the food i'm also finding myself running up and down the stairs to turn lights on and to um, tidy up any things i didn't get to last night and make sure everything looks good for the day erase our whiteboards make sure everything's fresh Doing the dishes, making the food is usually what takes the majority of my morning. I want to say if I leave like a full bucket of dishes and I have a full meal to make, it'll take me like 45 minutes, I want to say, to get that ready and then less time to get myself ready and the space ready. But today I'm showing you my routine for, for opening outside. So that's when children are getting dropped off directly into our outdoor play space. We're not spending time in our inside classroom other than eating lunch in there. And then the children who are waiting for the other children to finish lunch are a little or playing a little bit. But for the most part, we're not in the space. So I do open it up, but I don't turn all the lights on and I don't fuss as much about setting up that space. So it actually makes my mornings slightly easier when that's the case. But it, it does also mean that I am prepping snack for outside and making sure I have all that I need for the children in the morning time that we have it outside. And yes, I am a dish stacker because it's just a small space and I don't feel like putting it all away. So I stack. And now 
I'm taking my dish bin downstairs, going to start turning the lights on, getting things ready, seeing where my laundry situation's at, and get it all ready for parents to come in to drop off backpacks. So you can see my kitchen is right off the stairway that leads us down to the basement, which is all designated for childcare space, except for the laundry room, which obviously we also use for personal use as well as for the childcare. I don't find myself, like I said, setting up fully when we're having a outside day where we start our day outside. So I just turn on the lights kind of towards the front of the classroom. Here's my laundry that is built up from a couple days and I am going to go start that. I'm also washing this toy I found at the garage sale last weekend. Just plugging in my twinkle lights here. It makes for a calm, dark space when we come in from outside for lunch and it's nice and cool in our basement on these hot days. Today is about like a 27 degree Celsius day. So pretty hot for May in our area. I'm just gonna give, give the carpet a little quick vacuum, pick up some sand and leaves that were tracked in. I'm constantly cleaning my stairs and this area where we hang our coats and stuff. Even though we leave our boots and shoes in the garage, it still tracks so much dirt and I think parents have just gotten used to knowing that it's just going to be a little bit dirty, but I do try to give it a sweep in the mornings just to get the last bits that I didn't get last night. We had a very sandy friend in the sleep room yesterday, so I just vacuumed in there a little bit. I keep the baby gate closed just so the kids aren't running in there in the mornings and doing laundry. Here we go, getting my coffee ready. Okay, now I'm getting the snack ready for morning snack, which we have typically around 8.30. Um, I wait till most of the kids are here, if not all, to do that together. We've been eating at our picnic tables outside. Today was supposed to be muffins, but because I was distracted by making this video, I completely forgot to make them. So we'll have those tomorrow, and today we'll just have um, tomorrow's snack, which was Cheerios and apples with cinnamon on top. The children love having the cinnamon on the apples. Here I'm just filling up a water jug so that I can refill water cups because it's a hot day and we don't want to be without water. Nice cold water into my cooler bag as well as their water bottles. I got these Munchkin 360 cups. They have been working really great for all of us and every child has their own cup with their names labeled on it so they know what's theirs. I'm going to cut up the apples ahead of time so that I can just serve them straight away outside. I don't have to worry about prepping this in the outdoor space and making some sanitary place to cut them. It's just easier to do in the kitchen, put it in a little container. And then I will, however, add the cinnamon um, right as we are eating it. Um, some children don't want the cinnamon on it and some do. So I'll just leave them plain for now and we'll add the cinnamon um, once it's in their own bowls. Sometimes I will coat these with lemon juice um, if I am cutting these up early in the morning just so that they don't go brown by the end of the day. For whatever reason, I didn't today, and they were fine. They were ever so slightly brown, but they were fine. And in this cooler bag, I also make sure I have an ice pack just so those apples stay nice and fresh. Not that it's super hot yet. Our mornings tend to be around... 10 degrees in the last few days so it's still and that's 10 degrees celsius so it's still a nice cool morning for the most part but it does um, heat up quick but just to keep our apples nice and fresh we put an ice pack in there And I don't worry about, there's the cinnamon, I don't worry about afternoon snack yet. I worry about that. Once all the kids are asleep, then I get that prepped. And usually afternoon snacks on our menus are extremely simple. So here I'm just throwing out yesterday's diapers, which I tend to just toss in the garage for myself to deal with in the morning. Put those in the garbage in the garage so it doesn't stink up the house. Put away 
you know, some leftover sweaters and tidy up some shoes that were out there. Got to get my fill on coffee here. And putting it in a travel mug since we're starting the days outside is just that much easier than trying to juggle a ceramic mug outside. Keeps it nice and hot. Now I'm just taking the snack outside and setting it on my shelf so it's ready to go. And then I'll probably head back in again and I have a few minutes to enjoy some coffee and my own breakfast because that seems to always be the last thing I do in the mornings is make myself something to eat. So I'm going to do that and try to scarf some down before I head outside for the children to arrive. Um, my son might be awake by now and I can sit at the table with him and his dad and just enjoy a little bit of breakfast, a few bites. I like to give the play yard a good sweep of the eye in the mornings and make sure there's no animals hanging out. I haven't had that happen yet, but we do have raccoons and foxes living so close to the woods and often their excrements. So got to check for those, make sure it's all good. The chipmunks and squirrels are active, but we don't worry about them. And you'll notice that toys are everywhere because there are just some things you have to let go as a home child care provider. And one of those things is tidying up my outside space. It's all within my cedar rail fence. So it feels like it can all just be contained in here. And we're going to get at playing with these materials again today. I do try to tidy up the front a little bit, throw the sand toys back in the sandbox, but I don't worry too much about it. Every morning, on these nice days, I try to bring out my big quilt and have my connector toys, which these days are Duplo blocks. So I'm just gonna set this up in the shade here so children can come and build quietly or build as a group together. It's just a calm place to sit, cool down, have a rest. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me in my morning routine as I run around getting everything ready for our outdoor start to our day at forest school. And you can see I have some strategies and some things I just kind of fly by the seat of my pants. Um, let me know what your morning consists of in the comments below. If you have not yet, please, please, please hit subscribe. As always, thanks for being so supportive and encouraging. And I hope that there's something in here that could inspire you or maybe just normalize some things for you. And I look forward to seeing you guys once again next week on the Early Childhood Educator.